It's like 2.30. Oh. Oh. Yeah. So this is the path that everyone else goes on. That's uh, hopefully the police are down the bottom and not on the top. I'll just keep on going up. See how far we get. Right. Hi, right, good luck. <laughs> Bike's getting fixed again. Maybe this one works out. Hopefully I've been premature with my eulogy. Uh, so the bike's back in repairs. Could try and find something to do today. It doesn't involve speeding around and looking in different places. It's quite nice being back on the feet though. I've been missing this. I want to get back to hitchhiking walking around and seeing a little, things a little bit more intimately than just kind of speeding past at 30 kilometers an hour. It does allow you to see more stuff, but you know, it's the way up, it's the way up with how you travel. It's better than taking buses. Nice little fruit market. These ones are kind of cool. These ones taste like Red Bull, like the drink, like the energy drink Red Bull. And then mangoes and dragon fruit. Bananas over there. Oh yeah. Let's explore some markets. Burial grounds that I'm walking through. A bit spooky. I literally have no idea where I'm heading. I'm just kind of seeing what will turn up if I walk in one direction. That's how you crush cans out here. Nice on the river, took a right. I think it'd be kind of cool if, uh, if this was like fully interactive. I could just walk around and people could just say like, go left, go right. It'd be hilarious. Seven little challenges to do. <sighs> if only. I love the difference. You can just walk out of a city, maybe two kilometers. Suddenly everyone's just saying hello to you and it's so much more friendly. Love it. Huh. Let me go that way. Let's see that one goes. Still heading north, I guess. It's so difficult to tell at midday. Which way are you going? It is getting hot. I'm like sweating from everywhere. Put my uh, best friend on my shoulders to keep them a little bit less burnt. Onwards. I'm not sure if I reach the end of the path or not, but I'm just going to see how far it goes. Yeah. Into the forest. Not a bad little track. I like this. It's like a little jungle walk. Ah. So I got asked the question, how do I navigate while I'm traveling? And uh, it kind of depends on what kind of adventure or what kind of exploration I'm doing. If I'm on the bike, I'll just look at uh, maps.me and just memorize the route roughly, kind of, you know, take my phone out a couple of times throughout the journey. But overall, it's just about you know, on the bike you can go down dead ends and it doesn't matter. Um, walking, it depends. Either I look at maps me and sort of like judge roughly where I'm wanting to go and then put my phone away. Or just walk and see where it takes me basically. This walk, I am walking roughly north 
and I saw that there was like a little track going into uh, Anchor Wat um, without having to pay for a ticket, potentially. $37, that's more expensive than the visa to get in here. $35 to get into Cambodia, $37 to go see Anchor Wat. Crazy. Anyway, let's see how tight their security is. Took a screenshot of where I am. I'll put it here. The road or something. And there's a road going around it. Let's check it out. Alright, so now I'm on that corner of that like lake thing. Um, so now I'm just gonna walk this way round, like anti-clockwise round the water. If the ticket control was down there. Hoping that I can sort of get up here, round and in. This is like the first complex right in the middle of this lake. Um, if that doesn't work. I think there's a viewpoint which is uh, doesn't seem to have a checkpoint next to it. Right, first, past the first barrier. Ticket. <laughs> oh no, no, I don't. Can I not go this way? No, no. This way for the temple. Oh, this way for the temple. Oh, okay, okay, okay. 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 You don't have the kit or not? No, no. Can I go this way? I need to one more road. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Hmm. Get a disguise and then go back in again. Damn. Oh, well, next time. Very different gate. I'm thinking around the other side of the complex. There's like more little tracks, and then it goes up to a viewpoint. So I can look over everything, as opposed to like walking through all of the checkpoints. I tried on that one, it's difficult. I was like off the side but they spotted me. Eagle eye! Alright, attempt number two. Found another little jungle track. This one's taking me to the water's edge, I can then walk around the big complex and make it to the viewpoint. Maybe. If not, it's a nice walk, so <laughs> don't really matter. So I'm trying to get up, round, and then down this side. And the viewpoint is over there. Well, I can't see the hill yet. I'm going to tuck myself into this, uh, into this forest that no one can see me from the water side. There's the overflow for the, uh, the lake. Interesting. That's... I love this old rock which has been walked over time. It's cool. Even if I don't get to see anything, it's a beautiful walk. And there are literally, there's literally no one around. That's me in Angkor Wat. Woo! Where are you from? Uh, England. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, and this is your house? Yeah. I'll show you. Can I, can I film? It's okay, yeah. I love this house. He's just telling me where all the checkpoints were, which is kind of useful. So the problem with these big, moated, temples is that they can easily just put loads of police on each of the each of the four corners basically into the four sides if you actually sneak into the actual temple apparently they charge you like three hundred dollars and they're just really hot on it so all right now i'm like a intense intense jungle path just crossing between the, the road that didn't have any police on it and the one that started with police If I can get up this hill, join us the track which everyone else is on. It's quite far. It's like 2.30. Oh. Oh. Yeah. So this is the path that everyone else goes on. Let's uh, hopefully the police are down the bottom and not at the top. I'll just keep on going up. See how far we get. Right, I made it to the top. Oh God, I can see. I the camera on. Perfect view. That's all I wanted. Perfect. Let's 
so the jigsaw puzzle gets completed. Ah, it's a lot of pieces that. I've just put a weather police there as well, over there. Let's avoid that. Baxi Chamrong. Doesn't say I can't go up these steps. Oh, Ooh. this is the south gate. This one, it's the south gate to Bayon. It's got faces in the gate. That's cool. But I reckon there will be police around here. So I'm not sure if I can cross, but I'll go check it out. Ooh. Grumpy. Monkeys! <laughs> this is a long bloody road. Apparently this is a working school over there and temple where the monks study and teach. I just love these houses. If I could live in a house like this one day, that'd be perfect. Proper simple life. Right, nearly the end of this ridiculously long road. Oh, this temple is big! Ah! Okay. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, they're checking tickets there. Oh, jigsaw pieces. I'm thinking round on this road. You know, I'm stop me. And then uh, just have a little, have a little peek, you know, a little, a little gander. I think this has got to be my last photo of inside. The temple's over there. There is a lot of police just chilling around. Can you see him? He's quite disguised, just there. Overall. Good temple, like that one. Right, there seems to be a lot of people going this way because it's kind of the end of the day, so I'm gonna try and like hitch a ride. Cause... Welcome, Grand. Thank you. Thank you. Woo! Made it back. Mission success.